Good morning, folks. This is Naim Asam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrain, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's video, we are going to look at one of the most important forex pair. Yes, of course, I am speaking of euro dollar. The price action looks intriguing. So let's go analyze the price and see where those important support and resistance levels are. So, but before we do that, as always, it is important for us to go through this slide of disclaimers and risk warnings. So anything that we will be discussing in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting video on financial advisors. Now, let me bring out the MT4 platform. Um, as always, folks, we will begin by looking at the weekly chart. So what does the weekly chart say? First of all, we have three different moving averages on this uh, weekly chart, uh, starting with your 200 week moving average as uh, shown in uh, green, as you can see it right over here. And then it is your 50 week moving average shown in pink. And of course, the 100 week moving average is in orange. Now the price has not only crossed above the 50 and 100, if you remember from our previous video when we did the year during the ECB's uh, press conference and we talked about this, that it's a price cross is above the 200 day move, 200 week move, uh, moving average and stays above that, then it will be immensely positive for the euro dollar. But obviously that is not happening in this particular week. Why? Because every single candle over here represents one per week. So, so far that yes, last week we had this uh, piercing of this 200 week moving average, but the close was below the 200 week moving average. So this indicated last week that yes, the price action could be a little bit abysmal. It doesn't mean that the, we are not going to go above this. It will only be, it only means that yes, there is some sort of a correction because the price is about to form an important um, reversal pattern that is also known as double top. And I'll discuss that a bit more on a, show, on a, on a daily time frame. But from from a weekly time frame perspective the more important thing that we've got to keep an eye on is that the price is trading above the 200 week moving average and as long as the price stays above that things are looking uh, things are going to continue to look a lot more a lot more strong a lot more uh, strengthful uh, the price action is going to look a lot more um, you know, strengthful from here so let's shift the gear and then go into your daily time frame now at the moment that we go into daily time frame the first thing that we need to do is of course we need to adjust our support level because obviously this support level sits way way beyond um, uh, the, the current price and I think it is going to take a lot more longer for the price to go around that so first of all for the investors who like who don't like to take too much of a risk this is your immediate level of support but for investors who can stomach more risk and then who, 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 who are okay with their risk levels to be slightly more higher, then we can choose another level of support which remains just over here. So that starts or begins with the when this rally exploded and it remains above the 200 day moving average because remember now we are on a daily time frame these moving averages change from weekly to daily moving averages and so for the, the immediate support level is between 1.09 to 1.10 now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that that level is is going to be below the 200 week moving average but it is above the 50 and it is also below the 50 week moving average so the reality is that if price crosses below this 50 week moving average on a weekly time frame then in this particular level that we have it over here isn't really going to hold so what does that mean so that means that we need to adjust this this level of support that we have just formed although this level of support is a valid level but we need to adjust the our, our support level in line with our 
uh, with our weekly time frame. So in order to do that, we will see that where that 50 week moving average is trading. So we know that 50 week moving average is between 1.10, 1.10, right? So with that perspective, if the weekly time frame, if 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 the weekly time frame tells us that the, the the 50 week moving average is between those levels, so then all what we gotta do is we just got to adjust this one a little bit more to the upside, and then so that we have that 50 week moving average. Now we know that this is where the level is really what we should be really looking at. Then all what we can, we can do is we go and just adjust this lower line, bring this lower line on top of this particular candle. And that, my friend, what happens over here now is that this level of a support that we have formed is also in line with our weekly time frame because this is where our 50 week moving average is. And also this is where our 200 day moving average on a daily time frame is. So I think this level remains a lot more stronger than anything else. But what I also want to uh, mention over here is that keep an eye on the slope of the 50 day moving average on the daily time frame because if the 50 crosses above the 100 day moving average that will also send us a positive signal the only negative signal that we are getting in terms of a price action is coming from the rsi that shows that yes the price is way overbought and the retracement is due so that's okay because if the retracement is going to continue we are already positioned for that but that also means that this upward slope may lose its momentum as well for the 50 and then we may start to see it tilt into the down Side. but that will also happen for the 100 day moving average as well but if the 50 crosses above the 100 that is going to be your initial signal that the, the trend is about to reverse again and the prices are likely to explode now to finish off in terms of a double top this is not really a double top as defined in a textbook but we can still see that if the price you know kind of dropped from here and then now the price dropped from here so we were very close enough to that to forming that double top but the double top hasn't formed yes it can form later on but for now that double top hasn't formed yes we have a triple bottom one being here the other one being here the other one being here but the double top in a textbook manner in a textbook technique it doesn't exist but the price did come close to that uh, double uh, double top. All right, folks, that's all for today. See you guys tomorrow.